Okay, so like, I just wanted to talk real quick about the national anthem at football games because I'm American and I'm also a football fan. Like, it's been in the news a lot this year. There's certain quarterbacks, shall we say, who like are taking a knee. And I think it's important that we show respect, whether you're at the stadium or in your car or at your home, it's always important to show respect for the flag and the anthem and everything that it means. I don't know when it became so popular among the libtard community to like show disrespect to the anthem, but there is never a single time that you're out in public and the anthem starts playing and you shouldn't be standing at attention. At full erect, turgid respect. I mean, I guess like if you're like in line for a beer at the time and it's not like convenient, you're like, you know, making your transaction, then okay, that's okay. Or if you're like, waiting to pee before you get in line to get a beer, talking to your friend, or like buying nachos, waiting in line to take another pee before you get another beer before kickoff, or you know, you get it. But every other time, you should be standing at attention and saluting the flag at a football game if the anthem's playing, for real. It's really very simple. Do you really think people died for like your freedom to do whatever you want and say whatever you want and like, Express yourself however you want, as long as it doesn't really hurt anybody. You do stand at attention every time you're at home and the national anthem comes on, right? No, I, I don't. That's stupid. But I'm just saying those people should. Hey, maybe it's just time for President Trump to sign an executive order saying, Hey, bitches, stand up at attention for the flag and for the anthem, or you're going to jail because you're not expressing yourself in the way that true Americans know you should express yourself. That's American AF. I mean, is it really smart to protest an anthem that represents a country that you or your community might be like systematically oppressed and abused by? Is that really a reason to quietly and peacefully take a silent knee during the national anthem when you know it could really offend, you know, like people of a certain skin tone? Maybe it's like actually more racist to point out that you're a victim of racism because that like implies that like there's a lot of racists and like that seems pretty uncool, guys. You know what? Call me crazy, but I guess I'm just more patriotic than most. Like the other day, I was in my truck listening to a high school football game and the national anthem came on. I stopped what I was doing, I saluted, and I paid attention to the national anthem and showed it respect. And then I caused a 12 car pileup because I tried to stand up while I was driving and like three people died. Two of them were kids. But, you know, people die for freedom every day. You know, maybe you just, you think about white people's feelings. I mean, when's the last time white people's feelings were considered? Maybe we just get a little sad when you pick on the flag and the anthem. I'm not some libtard beta male cuck that needs a safe space. I just need when you're in public at a football game for you to show the exact level of respect I do by behaving exactly the way as I do. Otherwise, it hurts my feelings and I get a little insulted. And then I get angry and then I say racist stuff. Look, I know it might seem like it's impossible for people of color to like protest without it upsetting us in some way, but don't worry guys. We'll think of a way for you to protest that doesn't hurt white people's feelings and we'll let you know exactly what it is when we figure it out. See? And so that's it. It's really simple. If you're a true American, no matter what you're doing, you'll always stand up at attention when the national anthem plays because, sure, it's a piece of cloth and a song, but it means stuff, guys.